Hello and welcome to the Hypnosis Academy. Today I'm talking about self-hypnosis and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's the easiest thing in the world. So I'll see you on the other side. One of the things, um, the myths that we hold about hypnosis is that it's very complicated. And we think it's very complicated. At the beginning, I thought it was very complicated. I thought it was very difficult. And, the, you know, there were high levels of skills. What I've discovered over time is that it's really not that difficult. It really isn't. Why is it not difficult? Because as humans, we go into hypnosis naturally all of the time. We know perfectly well what it means to go into hypnosis. Our bodies understand that. And so you don't really need to be terribly skilled to help somebody into hypnosis. All you've got to do is have the intention. Well, the same applies to self-hypnosis. You don't need to be terribly skilled to go into self-hypnosis either. You just need to have the intention. So what I'm going to share with you now are the steps that you need to follow to help yourself to get into hypnosis. Okay, so step number one, take three nice deep breaths in. How you do that is simple. You go, breathe in and hold it, and then release. And then you do it again. Breathe in and hold it at the top, and then release. And then one more time, breathe in and hold it at the top, and hold it for a little bit longer and then release. Now, if you want to follow along with me, please feel free to do this. Um, please make sure that you're not doing anything where you're handling machinery or doing anything where, you know, you can't relax, right? Make sure that you're on your own and you're, you're sitting somewhere comfortable, all right? Don't, or lying down. So you can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. I would suggest that you do it with your eyes closed. So, what you do is this. With your eyes closed, and this might seem uh, contradictory, but it isn't. I want you to focus on three things that you can see. So, for example, I would say, so I've got my eyes closed, and I can say, well, I can see all of the, the light that's coming from outside. I can see strange little movements across my eyes and I can see shadows. Okay, so I do three. And then I go to three things that I can hear. So I then say, and this is saying this on the inside. So I can hear the sound of our heating. I can also hear some sounds of my family downstairs. And I can hear the whirring of the fan on the computer. Okay. And then, after you've done the hearing, then you move to feeling. And then you say what things you're feeling. So, for example, I would say, okay, I can feel the support of the chair that I'm sitting on. I can feel the breathing as I breathe in and out. And I can feel the warmth of my lips as they press against one another. It really doesn't matter what it is that you're feeling. All you're doing is you're going through the senses. And then when, once you've gone through three feeling things, you go back to seeing again. But this time you do two. And you say, okay, so I can see green colors. And... In my mind's eye, I can see a park. You know, it doesn't have to be what you actually can see, because what's in your mind? And then you move on to what you can hear, okay? So I can hear, just before, a sound of my computer. And I can hear the birds outside tweeting. And then you move on to feeling two things. I can feel where my feet are placed on the ground. And I can feel my hands touching one another on my lap. Okay, so you've done two 
as a round of all of the senses. And then you move to one, one seeing. So I can see in my mind's eye the red dot of the camera that's still there in my mind. One seeing, one hearing. I can hear the voice of my son. And then one feeling. I can feel the energy in my body. Okay. So that is the first process. So you're doing three of each, seeing, hearing, feeling, two of each, seeing, hearing, feeling, and then one of each, seeing, hearing, feeling. Once you get to there, already you're going into an altered state. Hypnosis is an, is an altered state of awareness. When you're whipping through your senses, you're taking yourself out of your normal state. And then once you get to there, then what you do is this. You just say, Okay, so in a moment I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. And by the time that I reach a number 1, I'm going to be very relaxed and in hypnosis. And then you start to count. And a great secret is counting the numbers as you exhale. 10. 9. So always on the out breath, you count your numbers, okay? And then you get down to one. Once you're at one, I promise you that you are going to be in an altered state. Now the question is, what do you do then? You know, the, uh, Richard Bandler always says, never waste a good trance. So the question is, what do you do with that? Well, that's for another video. But I'd like you to start practicing this process. I've used self-hypnosis for 30 years and I think it's absolutely wonderful and I've done all kinds of things in self-hypnosis and I've helped myself out tremendously and you can too just the act of being in hypnosis is healing you you don't actually have to do anything although I'm going to give you some things that you can do you don't have to do anything just being there and letting the mind roam free it's like a meditation in fact if you like meditating, do this and it will increase the depth of your meditation. All right. So I hope you found that interesting and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.